Hey guys, it's Chris here from Pi Supply. In today's unboxing video, we're going to take a look at the amp part for the Raspberry Pi. So the amp part allows you to connect any speakers to the Raspberry Pi up to 55 watts. Um, you will need to connect an external power supply to that as well. Um, it, you can also connect uh, four or six ohm speakers. Uh, if you go to the Just Boom website, you'll be able to check out um, what power requirements you'll need for your uh, speakers in particular. We have a number of use cases that should be able to help you out there. Um, so it has a built-in DAC chip and amplifier chip all in one. Uh, this is provided by the Texas Instruments chip. Um, it also has a couple of breakout headers. Um, this is probably the only board where we couldn't fit a full 40-way header that you can uh, add to the board, but we have got some breakout headers on there to, so you can connect um, a rotary encoder for the volume control. Um, so yeah, let's take a look and uh, see what we've got inside. So first up, we've got some cool Just Boom stickers there. There's our Just Boom logo. Got another snazzy Just Boom sticker. Um, so we've got an information card there. Okay. Uh, if you go to the web link, there's some information on there on how to get started with the Just Boom amp app. Um, we've got some information from one of our partners, max to play um, there's a free trial, 30-day trial, um, there's a license code on the back, so if you want to try that out, you can do so. Um, there's an information card as well, uh, there's a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started, download the software, activate it, and um, install the software as well. Uh, we've also got a, um information card from Rune Labs. Um, they offer a 60-day trial if you want to get started. There's a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the software on the Raspberry Pi and your computer as well to get started. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Uh, so we've got some nylon standoffs there to mount the uh, amp hat to the Raspberry Pi. There's also in here and get it out. An IR receiver. Uh, so you can solder this to the amp part and this will allow you to control um, the volume and the software using an infrared remote control. So let's take a look at the main board itself. So as you can see, it's just a standard hat. Um, format. We've got the uh, DC power input there. Uh, I think this is a 2.1 mil jack that you need to connect into there. Um, so this will take anywhere between 8 and 24 volts um, to power the speakers and uh, it will also back power the Raspberry Pi as well. So you only need a single uh, power supply for that. Um, you can see you've got your left and right speaker terminals there. Um, we've also got, as mentioned before, we've got a uh, small breakout header here. Um, so this will breaks out the 5 volt, 3 volt ground and some GPIO pins. Uh, I think you've got I squared C and UART on there as well. Um, the TI chip that's used uh, is a DAC and AMP chip. It's the TAS5756M if you wanted to check that out. Um, if you don't have a, if you have another power supply, um, we also provide a two-pin connector there as well. And the um, IR receiver just goes on the end of the uh, board there. Um, so you just need to slot it in the pins there. Make sure the receiver is pointing outwards from the board. Uh, and then underneath, you just need to solder the pins and snip the legs off. If you go to the Just Boom website, um, there's some information on how to install it and also set up the software as well. Um, so this will work up to 192 kHz at 32-bit. Um, that's the limitation of the chip itself. Um, so in terms of software, 
Uh, if you go to the website and go to the software section, you'll see a full list of supported um, operating systems that's compatible with this Trustbeam ARM pad. So um, let's assemble it to the Raspberry Pi. So I've got a Pi 4 here. Um, so let's just take these nylon screws out first. So first I'm just going to screw the standoffs to the Pi board. Uh, it's a lot easier to do it this way. Um, you should be able to just do this with your hands and then you can tighten it up after. So just slot the screw through and then just screw the, st the nylon standoff on there. And I'll just do the rest of those. So now once we've got those on, uh, we just need to add the amp part to the Raspberry Pi. So all we need to do is just slot it over the GPIO header here. Once it's on, just make sure it's pushed down firmly all the way down. Now we just add the remaining screws to the top just to secure it in place. So once we've got those on, just uh, tighten up the bottom ones a little bit. And there we have the uh, Ampat assembled to the Raspberry Pi. So if you want to connect your speakers, um, all you need to do is just unscrew the terminals here. And then pop your speak wires obviously inside the terminal there and then screw it back down. Give it a little tug um, after just to make sure it doesn't come out or it's loose. Um, the board is marked um, so there is some labels on there so you know which cable to connect to the, which terminal. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about today's video or if you have any queries about the uh, Justbeam amp hat, uh, you can drop them in the comments box below. Uh, or you can visit us at justboom.co and contact us via the website or any of our social channels. So thanks very much for watching and until next time I'll see you then.